everyone this is hello angel Doll design today i'm going to show you how to make a fabric storage bag it's a beginner friendly tutorial i will take you step by step on how you can achieve this cute bag this is how the inside is and it has a strap at the side and this is how it is once you have done making i'll put all the measurement on my description box below so that you can also make that for yourself if you have not subscribed please go ahead and hit that red button that says subscribe and after that hit the notification bell so that anytime i upload you will be the first to be notified if my tutorial has been helpful thumbs up make a comment down below if you have any questions and let's get started I've cut my fabric ready I will tell you the measurement that you're going to take to cut your fabric this is my strap you can see I cut two pieces the length of my strap is 13 inch the width is four and a half inch if you're using centimeter cut 33 centimeter by length the width is 11 and 5 centimeter that is 11.5 centimeter for your strap remember to cut two pieces this is my may fabric i also cut two pieces the length of my may fabric is 17.25 inch the width is 22.75 inch if you're using centimeter you cut the length of 43.8 centimeter the width you cut 58 centimeter you also cut two pieces for my lining my lining is shorter than my may fabric so for my lining the length is 16.75 inch the width is 22.5 inch if you're using centimeter cut 42.5 centimeter by length and the width is 57.3 centimeter you also cut two pieces and this is my interfacing make sure you cut the same length and the same weight for your strap and this is also my interfacing cut two pieces for my may fabric the same length the same weight so this is how i cut my fabric so let's start put the back together first thing that you have to do you open your may fabric this is the back of my may fabric and this is the front of my May fabric. Then you pick your interfacing. This is the glue side of my interfacing. So I will turn it over like this. The glue side is facing the back of my May fabric. I will take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. You do the same thing with the second pieces of your May fabric. Then you take your strap, you do the same thing. This is the back of my fabric and this is the front and i will iron the glue side of my back fabric place it like this take it to my ironing board and give it a good press and i will repeat the same process on the second strap so go ahead and iron your interfacing on your fabric i have ironed my interfacing on my main fabric and i did the same thing with my strap the next thing that we have to do we are going to measure the boss corner for this storage bag that you are making today so i will just turn my fabric inside out you can see the interfacing that i iron inside what you're going to do from the edge right here you measure inside four inch and from this other side you measure inside four inch so i'm going to be using my roller so this is my roller i will place it like this this is four inch and and i will place it on this other side and i will measure inside four inch once you measure it like this you take your scissors you just go ahead and cut it out i have cut it out this is how it is what you're going to do you move your fabric you also do the same thing on this side measure inside four in measure inside four inch and you repeat the same process with your second may fabric 
so go ahead and measure it around and then go ahead and cut it out remember to also do the same thing with your lining both corners measure inside for four inch I have cut it out this is how it is I cut it out with two of my male fabric and I also repeat the same process with my lining make sure you also repeat the same process with your two male lining so what you're going to do we are going to put them together so first thing that you have to do you're going to put the both front fabric together like this both front fabric facing each other we are going to pin the side seam together. So go ahead and pin the side seam together and you also pin the bottom edge together. So I will take my pin and I will pin the both side seam and the bottom edge. I have pinned the both side seam and the bottom edge together. The next thing that you have to do, go ahead and stitch the both side seam and the bottom edge. My seam allowance is one centimeter. I have stitched the both side seam and the bottom edge together. This is how it is. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to stitch our lining. So what you're going to do, make sure both front fabric of your lining are facing each other. So go ahead and pin the both side seam and the bottom edge together. I have pinned the side seam of my lining. This is how it is. And I also pinned the bottom edge. So you can see that I placed two different pins right here, the blue pin and the rest are yellow pins. So what I'm doing, I will stitch from here to here and I will end here. And I will continue from here and I will also end here. Make sure to always back stitch at the beginning, back stitch at the end. And I will just stitch the side seam together. I have stitched my lining. I take it to my ironing board and I press the seam apart and I did the same thing on this side. And I also did the same thing on the bottom edge. This is my open gap right here. The next thing that we have to do, you're going to take your strap to your ironing board and press it. So I've already done my fold inside half an inch, fold inside half an inch, give it a good press, fold it into two and then give it a good press. If you're using centimeter, 1.3 centimeter 1.3 centimeter fold it into two give it a good press and you also repeat the same process on your second strap once you have done that take it to your sewing machine give it a top stitch all the way down and you also come to this side give it a top stitch all the way down and you take the second strap give it a top stitch all the way down you also give it a top stitch all the way down I have stitched my strap together this is how it is you can see how that is the next thing that we have to do we are going to boss our corner so you put them together like this both seam are mashed you just put them together pin that in place so you just go ahead and pin it all around You can see how that is. You turn to the other side, you do the same thing. And you will also repeat the same process with your lining. So go ahead and pin them in place. I have pinned it in place, so if you have a clip, clip it in place. Take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. Go ahead and give it a top stitch. You take your lining, you do the same thing. Give it a top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. 
go ahead and top stitch. I have stitched it together. This is how it is. You can see I'll give it a top stitch and I also repeat the same process with my lining. You can see that I have already started pinning my strap together. So what you're going to do, the seam in between the seam right here, you take your measuring tape or your ruler. So we are going to take a measurement of two inch on this side. Place your ruler like this. Take a measurement of two inch. You take your pencil or your marker, you just mark two inch right here. So this is my two inch. I hope you guys can see that. Once you measure that, then from this seam, you measure to this other side two inch. Place it at the seam in between. So you're going to measure again two inch. This is my two inch right here. I hope you guys can see that properly. So this is my two inch, this is my two inch. Then you pick your strap. This is the fold side, why this is the seam. I will place it like this. This is my two inch, place it like this. Don't place it inside, outside. You just take your pin, secure that in place. Once you have done that, then turn it over, make sure your strap is not twisted just turn it over like this go ahead place it this is my two inch so i will place it like this and i will take my pin to secure it in place so what you're going to do take it to your sewing machine give it a top stitch two to three times to secure the strap in place i will also come down to the second strap and I will also do the same thing on this side. Give it a top stitch two to three times to secure this strap in place. So go ahead and top stitch. I have top stitch. This is how it is. I have top stitch together. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to put our lining inside our May fabric. What you're going to do, turn your lining inside out like this. So you put your lining, this is the front of my lining, put it inside your May fabric. Make sure that both seam are matched. This is the side seam of my bag, the side seam of my lining, put them together. Pin that in place and you pick the other side, the side seam of my bag, the side seam of my lining, put them together, pin that in place. Once you have done that, go ahead and pin it all around. I have pinned around the top edge of the bag. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine. Give it a top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, we cannot turn the bag inside out. I have given it a top stitch all around. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and trim a little bit out from the seam allowance. I have three mat from the seam allowance so you just put your hand inside like this and then turn it inside out I have turned it inside out the next thing that you have to do take it to your ironing board and give it a good press so I will take mine to my ironing board and press along I have pressed along, this is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all around. Once you have done that, then pick your lining inside. This open gap, go ahead and top stitch. Once you have done that, your bag is finally ready. 